What's up guys? I am in the middle of doing a marketing vlog here in Banff, Canada and I had this idea. I've been taking a bunch of time lapses. I got the A7R 3 and the GoPro but a lot of times we find with the GoPro it's really hard to get a good time lapse over a long period of time. So I want to do a quick digital tips video talking about the settings I use on a GoPro to take magnificent time lapses. All right, now I'm gonna to switch to the A7R 3 and show you some of the settings that I use. Then we're gonna take some shots, magnificent of the scenery behind me, of the mountains. I'm gonna go do some trees down below, do a whole bunch of different time lapses and show you the result and tell you some of the things that we've learned and some of the issues that we've had. So sorry about the audio, it's not gonna be good. I don't have the mic today on the A7R 3 but I'm just gonna switch to this quickly and show you guys the settings. So I'm just gonna go through my standard settings. Right now, for this time lapse, I have it set to 4K and 24 frames per second. Um, I don't go more than that. When we set up the GoPro in a stable position, 24 frames is fine, we're gonna speed it up. I use 2.7 or 4K. For the ones today, I'm gonna use 4K so that we can zoom in and out. Then, on 4K, you can only, on my GoPro, use wide or super view. I will use super view for one or two time lapses today. But for now, I'll leave it on wide. I just, I think it looks GoPro-y when you have it on wide. That's why sometimes I use 2.7K and put it on linear. Shutter speed, I'm going to leave on auto. White balance is the key. Announcement. Remember this one thing from this episode. This is the one that's, that's important to look at. The white balance itself, if you are taking a time lapse outside, if the sun goes behind a cloud then what'll happen is, is the white balance will change automatically and it'll create a difference in your footage during the time lapse. So when you speed it up, it's gonna look a little funky throughout as it changes color up and down, more blue and more yellow. So what I like to do is I like to set it and then even if it's not perfect with the sun coming out, the white balance being consistent throughout allows me to color grade the footage. So for this one, I'm just gonna set it to 4000K. Then I always leave sharpness on medium. Color I leave go I leave on flat. I don't use GoPro. Flat allows me to color grade it and it matches footage from the A7R3 a little bit better. Uh, Audio is not an issue for these time lapses. So yeah, let's go. I have in the past gone to low for time lapses in terms of sharpness. It just blends the footage a little better specifically with the clouds. But today I'm going to leave it on medium. Maybe a couple I'll move to low afterwards. Let's test it out. <laughs> As you guys can see here, my Gorillapod is falling apart. Gonna have to order another one from Amazon. And that's one of the things for Canadians or anyone shooting content with these Gorillapods in cold conditions. It's really tough because as soon as they get cold, they crack and then pieces fall off. So I go through a lot of Gorillapods, but they're definitely worth it. They still help me shoot great content on the go. And I use it for both the DSLR and for the GoPros. So now for this one, there's sun through the trees. So I changed the white balance setting to 6000K and the ISO, I made sure on this one that the ISO minimum was 100 and maximum was 400. I had the same on my other shot, but I just double checked it. I just don't want that ISO value to go too high because of the sun going behind the clouds. So with that, I think we're gonna get a pretty consistent time lapse again. have enjoyed some of the time lapses. I've used a couple other cool features in the editing to make them look really good. Use some of the settings but keep creating correcting with those time lapses. Remember that the GoPros are constantly changing, software's changing, and every situation is different. Today the settings I used outside were for day, but if I was taking time lapses at night, they would be different. Just have some fun with it and go out and make some sick content. Now, I'm gonna go get a couple other shots, a couple other time lapses. Then we'll call this Digital Tips episode a wrap. One more note, I didn't talk about every single setting. I'm gonna put all the settings that I used in the comments below so that you guys can go reference them and try your own time lapses.